In this tutorial, you'll learn how to combine the lasso tool with this cropping idea from an earlier video, and how using these aspects we can also add effects to the edges of cutout shapes. This effect works really, really well when you're trying to create a softer look to people's faces that are cut out from a larger photo. First of all, we need to go over to the toolbar and select the lasso tool. It's the one that's directly underneath the crop tool that we used in an earlier video. And if you look closely, it really does look like a cowboy's lasso. We go down to the edge. Now mine's set to feather because the last time you used this, it was set to feather. If I just change it to the default again, your one will look like this. The edge in the properties is hard. That means that whatever we cut out using this lasso tool, at the moment it's going to have quite a distinct hard solid edge to it. What we're trying to do though is create a softer look to our edges. So we choose from the pull down menu here the feather option and then we can change the number here. Either type the number directly in or use the slider. Mine's 60. The rule of thumb there is that the higher the image the more pronounced the feathering effect to our edges will be. Now we go over to the image and I'm going to cut out Neo's face here. So I start anywhere in the image and using my mouse, a little bit difficult with the mouse, but it still works. We just click and drag the mouse around, trying to drag around the part of the image that we'd like to keep. When we get to the end, we need to make sure that the blue line that is being created does cross over at the end point and the starting point. Once you're done there, let go of your mouse button and you can see those black and white sort of moving lines, the ant lines that I've called in a previous video when we use the magic wand tool, appear around Neo's face. At this point, go Control X on your keyboard, or if you prefer the menu, go up here to Edit, then Cut. And we can immediately see the effect that this has had on Neo's face. Not only, obviously, a large part of his face is gone here, but you can see the softer edge right the way around the part that we've cut out. We'll see the effect again when we go up here to a, create a new image, File, new. Because this is in our clipboard, the part of the face that we've cut out, the height and the width is already set for us, so all we have to do at this point is press OK. Now go Control V on your keyboard, or if you prefer the menu, Edit, Paste. And we can see there the effect of our feathered edge. Not only have we managed to crop a part of the original image, in this case we've only got Neo's face, but the edges are a lot lot softer than they would be if we didn't do the feathered edge. By comparison, if I just undo this, I'll repeat my steps here but with the edge being hard, let's see the difference. Click and drag around Neo's face, go Control X on the keyboard or Edit Cut. Well, immediately we can see that harsher edge. Go File New, press OK, and then Control V or Edit Paste. We can see the difference here, really, really harsh edge, doesn't look very good really. Unless you're after a collage effect of a whole lot of images that does actually look like you've cut out the um, shapes by hand, versus the feathered edge, hard edge, feather edge. 